Welcome back to Oathbound Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Grime. It's a side-scrolling RPG, and people are claiming it is a Souls-like game. I'm not sure if that's actually true, though. We'll find out. Um, this game also has a unique feature that has living weapons that can absorb entities, I suppose, like flesh from your opponents and, and mutate the weapon in a way. I have not tr tried Grime at all. This is a demo. So we're going to take a look at the game. At the end of this video, we're going to do a pros, cons, and final thoughts section on the game. So let's get started here. If at any point during this video, though, you do like the content, throw us a like and a sub. Always appreciate that. So we're going to start off by looking at the options real quick. Here are your options. Uh, I'm going to turn off motion blur and depth of field. I don't like those. I generally keep those off. Uh, we have audio settings and we have game settings. Uh, screen shake was an option that was on default. I turned that to none. Not a fan of that. So, these are some pretty nice um, video settings. I do like seeing a lot of customization options, so those cover pretty much the basics. Let's go ahead and start. I have not started at all, other than just skipping the original just, just starting story. I skipped that so we can get to the action and see what this is all about. Uh, real quick, I'm looking at the inventory. That's a weird looking uh, being map. Alright, let's uh, start moving. I'm gonna go left because I'm a rebel and I know the game wants you to go right. Should have gone right. What do we got? We got a health bar and like a stamina bar at the top left. Along with uh, some sort of bar around that black silhouette. Alright, we jumping, we jumping. Left shift, move a dash. You can dash through creatures. Okay. Absorb, press Q the moment an enemy attack attack lands. Okay. Right, we absorbed it. Oh, well, we can look up. Cool. Some weird looking creatures in this game, huh? Absorbing an enemy steals their breath. E to convert a full breath meter into health. Okay. There we go. Oh, cool. What did he just do? Warp into the thing? Grow? Ah, looks like this might actually be a Souls-like game. So it looks like you can spend your whatever this is. Yeah, you're spending your stats there. So we got extra health. 91, 97, whatever. Souls to level. Okay. An imprinted level arm becomes your checkpoint and surrogate. Whenever you are shattered, you will reform at the last created surrogate. As you reform, you will most so will most prey. Use their mass to develop your vessel. Okay. So it's got that with uh, a soul thing. As you you know you touch your campfire or something, you uh... ow. New prey found. Unformed finger. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Gotcha. Oh, 
Oh! Sheep and disgusting brother. Oh no no, you're not like them at all. Your proportions are sublime. Boss one, please let me serve you become of use. I promise I will I will look for anything that can be of use. Yes, I will find you again with the gift worthy of divine attention. Okay. Give me a weapon. I don't want to counter for the entire game. Prey hunt complete. Increase max health, letting you take more damage. Increase max force, letting you perform more actions. Increase, da increase damage for strength scaling, dexterity. Increase damage for. Resonance, scaling, weapon, and traits. Hmm. That's something right there. There's strength, dex, which are just strength and dex weapons, and then there's resonance that does both weapons and traits. And it looks like I acquired a trait because I killed these arms a certain amount of time. It restores 25% of your total force on a successful absorb or repel. Oh, is that always active now? But you can increase the passives? And was that because I killed a certain amount of enemies of that type? I think it is, right? So if we kill enough of those crawlers, we're at 5 out of 8, we should get another passive. If that's how that works, that's awesome. Oh, I missed that counter. Boulder head. Oh, also, I'm trying to get word of you. The glorious carving used these stick things to more easily crush the disgusting lessers into useful materials. There we go. Press I to open inventory, right click on, a, on a, an item to equip it, left click on an item to see more information. It can shift its fingers at the shape of an axe, dealing increased damage with increasing staggering power to prey. This is the scaling. Oh, yeah, definitely got a soul like type of feel. Oh, he's got much further range than I expected. That's kind of cool. Notice how the little fingers on the blade change to an axe form. Teleport. Attacking and dashing consumes force, which slowly regenerates upon when unused. Without force, these actions cannot be initiated. Right. Let's 
use that. It's one thing I really dislike. It looks like you have to kill enemies with a counter in order to like absorb them for the passives. I really don't like that. I think it's a bad design because people will generally go for the counter things and it's like weapons are, are essentially useless on enemies that you still need the passive from. Yeah, new prey found. Didn't get any credit for it. Can we check that? Does that not do any stats or anything? Doesn't look like it. Come on. Oh! Alright, I could throw items. Can I hit him? Yeah, it hit him. Take that. Those are those big head dudes, right? Um, oh, wait, that was here. So two out of five absorb pro uh, progress, right? So let's absorb this one. Three out of five. And now I'm going to go for a kill on this one with weapons. Yep, 3 out of 5. I really dislike that. I think that's a really bad design. So you're essentially forced into playing for counters until you have the uh, thing, until you have the passive. Then in addition to that, you, you're checking more and more often on which ones you have complete, so when you finally come across the enemy, you don't accidentally kill him. But if you were allowed to kill all enemies, and, and you know, even kills counted as the absorb you needed for the passive, if you were allowed to do that, you would just kill the enemies you come across and not have to worry about which ones you still need to do. Yeah, I really don't think that's a good design. Oh, this guy's annoying. I can't dash midair. That sucks. So how does one get to this dude? I try one more time, just running off this ledge here. Yeah, you can't dash midair. Maybe you unlock that or something. Ha! <laughs> come up right behind him. See, now I'm dealing with this. Because I'm trying to wait for him to actually attack so I can counter it. Oh, cool! Alright, that was awesome. Encounter it and throw it back at him. Second weapon. Twin fangs. Oh. 
So for the mouse and keyboard controls, the game plays quite well. I could see people probably preferring a controller on this, but the game plays just fine with mouse and keyboard, I gotta be real. Feels good. Prickly Weeper Legs. Seems like the armor doesn't give any stats. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Come on, try that again. feel it. I know it. My thoughts, my words, they come from a dead thing. A cursed breath of life forced into unwomen dirt. Can you kill him? is held up by spirals field reducing coming down by 15% for duration soon to get 150 mass so the souls are called mass all right see that background that eye type of thing cool touch what are you Blood metal splinter. Can be worked into weapons. Ooh. Weapon upgrades. Like that. Destroy challenging prey to gain their hunt point. Invest hunt points into the into traits from inside of surrogates to unlock their power. Traits are acquired by absorbing prey using absorb.
Huh. Huh. I don't really get this. Like, can now hold all to walk slowly. Let's see if that works. No, I can't. So they're not passives. You have to equip them. And if so, how exactly does one equip them? Like grow. What does that mean? Equip? Does that mean? I don't. I don't get it. Benefit from resonance. So. Killing attack damages the attacker 100% better. Oh, that's how it, that's how it scales from resonance. Resonance increases. Makes sense. I don't know what this is, but okay, I guess let's try it. Max rank. It gently pulls on nearby vulnerable surfaces. You want other health? Let's do some strength, some resonance. Force is stamina, right? Yeah. I like me some uh, some stamina. Take one away, put another in health. I, I really don't understand the um You sir get to grow, okay, but how do you get like use it? How? Is it a passive like once it's activated once it once you grow it? What the Why am I back here? Shouldn't that have just done damage? Oh, this thing. Sorry, buddy. By my disgusting brethren. How dare they attack one such as you? It's not your fault. They are misshapen and disgusting. Let's dump this pitiful place together. First, we need to get past the big ugly. The biggest ugly of them all. Break through its ugly face. Uh, boss fight.
Damn. This weapon's way too slow for this. Stamina is so low. Second attack coming. Great prey crushed. Increases the amount of mass gained from defeated foes by up to 100%. Ardor is gained by crushing or absorbing prey. Ardor is lost upon taking damage. So if you can keep a long run going without getting hit, you can get a large amount of mass, which is your souls, again. What's up, bro? You chiseled one. Look what I found for you in the meantime. More followers to serve and bask in your perfection. Yeah. This one is boulder head. It doesn't say much, but I tell you. It... But if I tell it to do something, usually that's right. This other one, boulder head. Doesn't say much either, but look how well I painted its misshapen Boy, face. Mm -hmm. Call them boulder heads because their heads kind of look like boulders. I don't think they get it though. Exactly. Must be heading to the palace. That's uh, all the other finely crafted rocks are like you. In the lithic that can take us there. Let me come with you. I promise to be helpful. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how you get that. Oh. Uh oh. Ah, I think I got a little. Stuck there for a second. Really nice background. All right. Demo end. Thank you for playing. Add ground your wish list and be notified when it's out. Never! I'm not stopping! All right, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first look at it. Let's head over to the portion of the video with the uh, the opinions, the pros, cons, and final thoughts. The pros, cons, and final thoughts on Grime. Grime! Combat feels good. It's easy to control. It just feels fluid. It doesn't feel clunky. And that's important because timing is everything in Grime's combat because the counter system is key to your success mouse and keyboard it works just fine i was actually expecting it to not work too well i thought i'd be switching to a uh, controller midway i played the mouse and keyboard the entire way all the way through i could see that people would probably prefer a controller for this type of game but i'm telling you right now if you don't have one and you're concerned like oh i won't be able to use mouse and keyboard that that's not a concern you definitely can play with mouse and keyboard just fine i was using it the entire time like i said and i didn't have any issues so love it 
uh, graphic options, keybinds, and various game settings. This sounds like a given, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of games that are missing this nowadays, especially in like the earlier stage, stages of development. If they eventually get to it, fine, cool. But Grimes got it right off the bat. Love to see that. They had a good amount of graphic settings. You can disable that motion blur, and you can disable screen shake. Not a fan of screen shake. And of course, keybinds are important, especially if you're on mouse and keyboard. Love the dark artwork, the atmosphere, the design of the game just feels good. I, I well, that's a strong opinion because I really like the darker style games, like the the Dark Souls type games where everything's a little on the creepy and, and kind of weird. I like that. This game delivers on that front. The absorb counter system is awesome, and the absorb counter system sucks. That is not a mistake. It's great, and it sucks. And what I mean by that, you heard me talk about it during the video, is there's a feature called traits in this game, which you unlock by absorbing enemies. Cool design. I like that it's in the game that you can learn stuff from your enemies. But you have to kill them with counters to get that, to progress in that and get those unlocks. And one of the things that sucks about it is you have to check your, like, your, I guess, bestiary, you can call it, the... Uh, the enemy log, however you want to word it, and see which ones you still have to absorb. So when you come across these enemies, you have to know which enemy that is, remember which one that is, find it in your book to see if you have it complete, and then try to kill it with an absorb counter, like counter it so you can absorb it. And that kind of sucks. I think that's that's a pretty crappy way to play, to constantly have to be checking and and paying attention to what you've completed and what you haven't. And as the game goes on and you get to a large amount of enemies, new enemies keep getting thrown at you, you kind of have to keep track of that, whether or not you finished getting all the absorbs you need from them. Rather than just taking your awesome weapon and beating them to death. If it was simple as that, just, just, just kill them. Just kill them a certain amount of times. You'd even... Ra well, you should. You would have to raise the amount of kills you'd have to get so you can just kill them with normal weapons. And go back, reset, you can touch that stone thing that would respawn the enemy so you can farm them. I would prefer that. You can just go on your merry way and keep getting your kills, use your new abilities that you get to get your kills, whatever it may be. But with this system, it's great because it's a cool system. The counter feels awesome, you do either a lot of damage to the enemy or you kill them and increase that bar that you can use to heal yourself. That's all I think it should do, is just stop right there. Do damage, kill the enemy, and give you the resource needed to heal yourself. But unfortunately, it's also involved with the trait. So you have to kill them that way to get progress. So it's cool, and it sucks. The living weapons are a disappointment. And you're probably wondering what I mean by that. That's this. The game is advertised as having these, these living weapons. And let me see if I can get the exact wording of it. The exact wording says... Uh, living weapons. Seamlessly swap weapons made of living creatures that mutate from form during combat from clawing swords to centipede weapons, uh, centipede whips. One more time, because that was a horrible reading. I suck at it. Seamlessly swap weapons made of living creatures that mutate form during combat from clawing swords to centipede whips. And yeah, sure, the game delivers on that front. It definitely does. But... It almost sounds like it's more. Like I, I was just expecting, you're actually you're you're actually like gaining traits from enemies you kill that apply to the weapon, and the weapon transforms, and now it's got that like crazy claw mouth that 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 fanged mouth on that weapon there that you see him hit the enemy. When in reality, all it is is right clicking would swap to like a heavy attack. And that heavy attack would just look like like a creature. It's like, oh, it gets fang teeth on the weapon. Cool, cool design, but it's not a living weapon. It's not really like a feature. It's artwork is all it is. So it's cool, but it definitely, it was a letdown for me. When I actually learned what it was, I was like, oh, kind of sucks. Cool look, cool take on the animation and artwork, but that's all it is. It's not actually like a gameplay feature. Oh well. Final thoughts. Grime seems like a great addition to the Souls-like genre. 
With challenging and rewarding combat, tons of unlocks in the forms of weapons and traits, I think Grime is on track to solidify itself as one of the best side-scrolling games on Steam. I do feel that way. Honest feedback. It's got some cons, but in no way, shape, or form do those two cons impact the great game that Grime is going to be. They're not going to lower the quality of the game by any meaningful amount. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look and honest review of Grime. I sure enjoyed playing it. Uh, if you like this type of content, please like, subscribe, share the video somewhere, and in a gaming Discord or something. Always appreciate that. Helps us out and keeps me motivated to keep creating content. So thank you so much for watching. Please throw us a sub and like, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Skip!